Hello. For those of you who don't know me, I am Michael Dorinder. I'm the co-host of the Laravel News Podcast. And in this short series of videos, we're going to be talking about a brand new project from a friend of mine, Nuna Madura, which is called PEST. And it is an elegant testing framework for PHP. For any of us that have been around PHP for a while, or for those of us that are new to PHP in general, and specifically the Laravel framework, PHP unit is pretty much the most common method of doing any form of unit testing, feature testing within PHP. It really cuts away from a lot of the boilerplate that you need in a traditional PHP unit scenario where you've got classes that encapsulate methods and allows you to focus more specifically on the actual test that you're writing. In this video series, we're going to go through how you can take your existing PHP unit tests and convert them to PEST. And we're going to look at things like higher order proxies that allow us to really simplify the structure of our tests. If we take a look at the PEST website, you can see not only are the tests a lot simpler to write without all of that extra boilerplate, the output from our test in the event of failure is really clear and really concise. It gives you exact locations of where things have failed, why they've failed. It gives you a nice elegant stack trace based on where your test has actually failed rather than giving you loads and loads of verbose output and frames from within vendor directories and things like that that don't really help you narrow down what's happened in your application. And because PEST is built right on top of PHP unit, your testing can be a lot more productive. It's really easy to write the test. It's really easy to read the test. And because it's powered by PHP unit, you can drop your existing PHP unit test directly into PEST and they'll all just work and you don't need to change a thing. So let's dig in a little bit to see how we can get this up and running in a vanilla Laravel application for the purposes of these videos. 